Here is a pretty poem that I found um, that you can listen to while watching me create my newest painting. I named this painting Golden Drops because it kind of reminds me of an abstract sunflower or a sun, just kind of like a mixture. Anyway, so I named it Golden Drops. The poem is called The Dove and the Ant by Jean de La Fontaine. An ant who, in a brook would drink, fell off the bank. He tried to swim and felt his courage sink. This ocean seemed so wide. But for a dove who flew above, he would have drowned and died. The friendly dove within her beak, a bridge of grass stem bore. On this the ant, though worn and weak, contrived to reach the shore. Said he, the tact of this kind act I will cherish evermore. Then behold, a barefoot wretch went by with a slingshot in his hand. Said he, you will make a pigeon pie that will be kind of grand. He meant to murder the gentle bird who did not understand. The ant then stung him on his heel, so quick to see the sling. The boy turned his head and, and missed a meal. The pigeon pie took wing. And so the dove went on to love, beloved by everything. This poem is the perfect example of good karma. What goes around comes around. When you give, so shall you too receive. The dove saw the ant drowning, so swooped down to save it, and in doing so got saved in turn by the ant. If the bird hadn't taken the time to save the ant, the ant would have been would not have been there to distract the boy with his slingshot, and he probably would have been dead. Helping people creates a ripple effect. You help someone, they eventually help someone else, so on and so forth, until it all comes back around full circle to you in your moment of need. Always pay it forward when you can. Smile at people you pass by on the street. Give random people compliments. My grandma used to say to me that a lot of people live alone and are really lonely. Your smile could be the only one that they see throughout their day, and it could warm their hearts. Tip a little extra to the waitress. Pay for the coffee order behind you in line. Give your spare change to the homeless man without contempt or judgment. Help your friends move with a glad heart. Do some volunteer work on your free time once a month. Whatever you choose to do, do whatever you choose, you know, there's so many things you can do to help people, whether it be monetary gifts, gifts of your time, gifts of um, just your presence in their life, compliment, a smile, you know, whatever it could be, donations, advice, just listening to somebody. Whatever you do, choose to help with a positive attitude and an inner knowing that when you need help, it all comes back around to you in divine timing. Just like the Disney song, You've Got a Friend in Me, written by Randy Newman, you are someone's friend that they can count on, and you'll be able to count on them in turn. If you've never heard the song before, you should listen to it. It's super cute. It's in that movie. Um, it's in the Toy Story movie. But... Um, it's super cute and meaningful. The lyrics are, you've got a friend in me when the road looks rough ahead and you're miles and miles from your nice warm bed. Just remember what your old pal said. Yes, you've got a friend in me. You've got troubles and I've got them too. There isn't anything that I wouldn't do for you. If we stick together, we can see it through because you've got a friend in me. Some other folks might be a little bit smarter than I am, bigger and stronger too, but none of them will ever love you the way that I do. So it's me and you. As the years go by, our friendship will never die, 
because you've got a friend in me. And it is true. There are so many people who have more than you, have more money, more time, more patience, more energy. You know, there's always going to be somebody that has less than you. And there's always going to be somebody that you feel has more than you, in my personal opinion. And when you can just help the people who have less than you or anybody who needs help, you really are doing doing them a service and doing yourself a service. Um, but anyway, so I just thought that poem was really pretty and meaningful. Um, I'm just still, you can see me <laughs> working on this painting and I'm sewing. I took a broken bracelet and some broken earrings and uh, some needle and thread and sewing them on. This uh, painting is just very... I don't know it's just very happy to me it's very happy bright fun unique and I hope you guys are able to get the help you need and fill your life with positive people positive experiences um, do positive things that make you happy like art makes me so happy you know, as long as you're happy and spreading happiness, happiness is going to keep coming back to you. And even if you're in your down times, it's so hard to hear these things when you're depressed or stressed or angry. Um, you know, when you're feeling down, it's really hard. You, you kind of get ticked off when people say like, oh, stay positive. But like the more you work on being positive and doing positive things and surrounding yourself with positive people, the more positive experiences will come into your life and you know it's true you are who you surround yourself with um what you think you attract and you know it's sometimes hard when you're down and depressed to stay positive but you just got to get the help you need get counseling surround yourself with positive people fill your life with positive experiences and ask for help when you need it and give help when you can. Well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I am almost done here. This, I ended up um, putting some, I found another broken necklace. So this thing, <laughs> this painting is a broken necklace, broken earrings, and a broken bracelet. And instead of throwing it all away, I saved it saved all the stuff for so long and I'm like what am I going to do with this stuff but it all came into use good use and I will be having this painting at my next art fair which will be July 16th um and yeah I hope you enjoyed watching this and listening to the poem let me know down below if you have any good experiences with um giving and receiving um anyways well now I'm just kind of like blabbing on. I've got a few seconds left. And here's the reveal. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys. And I wish you all the best. Bye now.